So first I cleansed my hair with this Curls Blueberry Bliss Reparative Hair Wash and I only applied that to my roots. And I also co-washed the rest of my hair with this Living Proof No Frizz Conditioner. And then last but not least, I deep conditioned with my Blueberry Bliss Reparative Hair Mask by Curls as well. Before I apply my products, I like to section my hair into four sections and just clip all those sections away with a butterfly clip. And I like to leave the last section out because that's the first section I'm going to be working on. So first to moisturize, I'm going to be using this Earth Nectar Hair Care Coconut Curls Leave-In Conditioner. And this is a really moisturizing conditioner. I love it. It smells like lemons though, even though it says coconut on the bottle. And I just raked it through my hair. And I like to apply my moisturizing products into about four subsections. Just because that's the only way I can get the product distributed evenly. And you guys are going to see I'm going to be applying a lot of product in this video. Simply because I have a lot of hair. And not only do I have a lot of hair, my hair is also really thick. So I like to make sure that I apply the product evenly so that my hair doesn't turn out frizzy and it can last the longest that way. So that's why I apply a lot of product and here I'm just finger raking the product through and for now I just clip the section away that I'm not working on at the moment and do the exact same thing to the rest of the sections. going to be taking my holy grail shea moisture coconut and hibiscus curl enhancing smoothie i love this stuff i've been using it forever now and i'm just going to be applying this the same way i applied the first product except i think i just only did about three sections because i already have a lot of that leave-in conditioner in my hair but i love this stuff because it's super moisturizing but it also helps to define the curl so it's already getting my curls really defined before i apply my styler which is going to be more of a gel based product and that's going to define it even more but I love the curl enhancing smoothie because it kind of gives you the best of both worlds it's really moisturizing and it does define my curls as well so yeah that's what I'm applying here and like I said I think I did only three sections well three subsections and I do that to all four sections
going to be taking the Shea Moisture Peace Rose Oil Complex Nourish and Silk and Styling Gel Cream. And I don't apply this into like three or four subsections like I did the other two products. I only apply this into the one whole section by itself just because I don't need that much of this. Because it does dry a little bit crunchy like most gels tend to. They're really good for hold but I never apply too much just because I don't want it to come out turn out really hard or anything like that. So I'm just applying it to the whole section, not dividing it into subsections or anything like that. So yeah. distributed all my products I just go and make a deep side part that's usually how I like to part my hair and I just go and define the curl even more I'm gonna be scrunching it and what scrunching is gonna do is just define make sure the curls dry really defined so I always like to add this step in at the very end even though you guys see a lot of product here is not gonna dry that way and I usually air dry my hair always just because I have a lot of hair and I don't have time for diffusing so yeah I air dry and it usually takes a whole day to air dry my hair so the next day when my hair is completely air dried, I like to go in with an oil and this is the Marula Pure Beauty Oil Intensive Hair Treatment and Styling Oil. And I like to scrunch out the crunch because like I said, that gel does dry on the crunchy side even though I don't mind that just because it helps with frizz. But this oil is really nice, it just makes it really shiny and it adds extra moisture. So here I'm just going to town with the oil making sure I get it all over my hair. over to scrunch it even more and it does separate the curls a little bit more when I flip it over and I'm scrunching even more with the oil but here I'm just fixing it to my liking and that's pretty much it so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys in the next one